That's what you need right now, more volunteers, but you need money. And that is why, Brad, uh, I am proud to announce that our company, Fox Corp, is now donating to you in American Red Cross $1 million to help with the efforts and the relief efforts and the rescue and the recovery in that region. Steve, I got to tell you, tell you, the Red Cross is incredibly, incredibly grateful for Fox's generosity. And I can tell you that those dollars are going to help people in Kentucky recover. Right. We're, uh, you know, there's over 550 people in shelters this morning. They're displaced from their homes. There's others that are living in homes that are got tarps on them. That's the only thing that's protecting them. Right. And so thanks to your generosity and that of so many other donors, we're going to be out there sheltering, feeding, and comforting folks right. from all over Kentucky. So thanks to you and Fox, Steve, very, very much. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and Brad, we know there are a lot of viewers watching right now. They've been watching over the last week. They're heartbroken. If they would like to help your organization, go to redcross.org slash foxforward to donate because help is needed. Uh, Brad, when you look at those images of particularly Mayfield, there is nothing fixable. No, it's, uh, you know, the situation in Mayfield is, uh, as one of your interviewees described, it's really people from the community coming out and helping each other. But if you think about it, yeah. the, the, the buildings are destroyed, the infrastructure is destroyed, there's no water available. And while there's so much aid coming in and everyone helping each other, if you lived in Mayfield, you have to literally rebuild your life. Absolutely. And that's why we've got hundreds of people on the ground mm -hmm. to, to really begin that process. And Steve, that's not going to be done in nine no. days at Christmas. It's not going to be done in nine weeks. That's right. It's going to be a long, long haul. And we know people will open their wallets. Brad Kaiserman from the American Red Cross. Sir, thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. You thank bet. you very much. We're going to step aside. More in a couple of minutes. And right there, you just heard the really big announcement. Uh, our parent corporation is donating $1 million to the Red Cross. That is going to be helping with uh, relief as well as recovery efforts uh, across the heartland. And, you know, Britta, I love, I love hearing that, you know, our company's stepping up. Absolutely, and it's going to be, you know, obviously well used. Um, these are folks that really have a long path ahead of them, and it's incredible the amount of money that it takes to not only clean up the situation, but help folks move forward. There's people that lost not only their home, but they lost their jobs, their cars, and above anything, unfortunately, a lot of people lost loved ones, and that's something that can never be replaced, but at least we can help bring some funds to help them slowly move forward. Yeah, and if you are watching this stream and you want to also step up and donate, you can. You can see the bottom uh, banner right there. You can visit uh, redcross.org uh, slash fox forward, and you can donate, and, you know, even $10 uh, will certainly help. I mean, you may think, oh, I only have 10 or $20 to donate. That will even help, because you know what? If we get 100 people together and we all donate $10, uh, that will certainly together not only, makes a difference. yeah, that will not only help out, you know, with recovery efforts, uh, but feeding the people mm -hmm. and, you know, providing the resources that these volunteers need. And also, uh, if you can donate blood, uh, that is always a need. Blood only has a shelf life of about 44 days. It does expire. And that's going to be something that they're going to need over the next few days because we've depleted that source in the first initial days of this situation and also the disaster.